Hi, my name's Paul Woodley. I was born and raised in the beautiful eastern suburbs of Sydney. I became a Christian when I was a young boy and had an interest in the Bible for as long as I can remember. My father used to read me Bible stories before I went to bed. When I was about 12, my dad bought me a shortwave radio so that I could listen to Dr. J. Vernon McGee's five-year Bible study program. McGee taught the entire Word of God, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, book by book, systematically and methodically, precept upon precept, all 66 books of the Word of God. And he did that for 25 minutes a day. I went through this five-year program with McGee no less than five times. And along my journey, I found other wonderful Bible teachers. Men like Stephen Alford, W.A. Criswell, John MacArthur, Chuck Missler, and John Corson, to name just a few. My passion for the Word of God only growing as I studied the Bible more and more. The deeper you delve into the Bible, the more you realize the depths of the spiritual riches to be uncovered. For the past 20 years, I've searched for a church in Sydney, a gathering of believers that shared my deep passion for the Word. I visited church after church across the eastern suburbs and into the inner west and even further afield. Rarely have I come across a church in Sydney where the Word of God was systematically taught. Biblical exegesis seems to be a lost art. Expounding the Word of God seems to be a method no longer employed in the pulpits of Eastern Sydney churches. And systematically teaching Bible prophecy is almost considered anathema. The few churches that I have found that do some systematic Bible teaching appear to do surface level, shallow analysis only. Topic messages, essentially pop psychology with a few Bible verses thrown in, seems to be the rage. This style of preaching usually starts with an anecdote, then a clumsy segue into a Bible topic of sorts. This seems to be how Bible colleges are training young preachers to preach. I personally regard this method as anemic swill. And I believe it's greatly harming the churches of God and the saints of God. Churches are full of sleepy, pew-sitting, biblically illiterate saints that are in a spiritual rut. They're part of a middle-class social club poorly equipped to enter into the spiritual warfare that's raging on around us. With what little gifting I have by the grace of God, I intend to expound the scriptures joyfully. I love to see the pages of scripture come to life. And if men of God across Sydney, Australia and the world would faithfully and triumphantly teach the Word of God by the power of the Spirit of God, God will move mountains and we will see true revival. I'll commence my teaching series with a verse-by-verse -verse study of the neglected and powerful apocalypse of John. And I hope, trust and pray that God uses this series to ignite a passion within you for the Word of God that transforms your walk with the Lord. Amen.